Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, starting with Surah 33, the Confederates, well, I guess I'm finishing too. Um, don't be confused by titles like Hezbollah, 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 because it means something particular. And people who do not uh, really fit into the party of God weren't fighting jihad and visibilillah, who were fighting in other ways. Let's not uh, confuse them with the whole uh, phrase as it's understood in the Quran. Just like Hamas, just as it's a uh, word in the Bible, doesn't mean that uh, everything Hamas does is even biblical. Um, in the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, O prophet, fear thou God, and obey not the unbelievers and the hypocrites. Truly God is knowing, wise, you know, no obedience to other than to others, it means disobedience to God, in other words, ah. Uh, but follow what is revealed to thee from thy Lord. Cognizant truly is he of all your actions, and put thou thy trust in God, for a sufficient guardian is God. God hath not given a man two hearts within him, neither hath he made your wives whom ye divorce to be as your mothers, nor hath he made your adopted sons to be as your own sons. Such words are indeed in your mouths, but God speaketh the truth, and in the right way he guideth. There's a mystical experience. I've, I've had it myself. It's like you've had, it's like you have two hearts, but you don't have two hearts. Um, but you know what it means metaphorically, or you can refer to that, you know. Name, name them after their fathers, this will be more right before God. But if ye know not who their fathers are, also let them be your brethren in faith and your comrades. And unless made with intent of heart, mistakes in this manner shall be no crime in you, for God is lenient and merciful. So we can be guardians and protectors, but uh, we don't adopt. Children have their father's name. Unless their father's name is the name of disbelief, then we pick a, you know, anyways. Near of kin to the faithful is the prophet, and they are to their own selves. His wives are as their mothers, according to the book of God. They who are related by blood are nearer to the one to the other than the other believers. And then those who have fled their country for the cause of God. Oops. Okay. But whatever kindness ye show to your kindred shall be noted down in the book, and remember that we have entered into covenant with the prophets, and with thee, and with Noah, and Abraham, and Moses, and Jesus, son of Mary, and we form with them a strict covenant, that God may question the men of truth, as to their truth but a sore torment hey hath he prepared for the unbelievers O oh, believers remember the goodness of god towards you when the armies came against you and we sent against them a blast and host that ye saw not 
For the eye of God was upon your doings, when they assailed you from above you and from below you, and when your eyes became distracted and your hearts came up to your throat, and ye thought diverse thoughts of God, and then were the faithful tried, and with strong quaking did they quake, and when the disaffected and the diseased apart said, God and this apostle have made us but a cheating promise. And when the party of them said, O people of Yathrib, there is no place of safety for you, therefore return another part no there's no place of safety for you here therefore return another part of you ask the prophet's leave to return saying our houses are left defenseless no they were not defenseless but their sole thought was to flee away so remember that yathrib was what medina at nabi you know the city of the exemplar prophet was called beforehand So thought was to flee away. I don't remember what Yathrib means at the moment. But it was a name that needed change. If the enemy had afflicted an entry at all points, then they had been axed to remote confusion, and they would have done so, but only a short time would they have remained in it. They had before pledged themselves to God, and that they would not turn their backs, and a pledge given to God must be inquired of. Say, flight shall not profit you, if ye have fled the death or the slaughter, yet even then, but a little while shall ye enjoy. Say, who is he that will screen you from God, and whether he choose to bring evil on you, or to shew you mercy? None besides God shall they find to be their patron or helper, and God well knoweth those among you who cause hindrances, and those who say to their brethren, Come hither to us, and who come not out to fight except a little, it is out of covetousness in your regard, for when an alarm cometh, thou mayest see them look to thee and roll their eyes. Like him on whom the shadows of death have fallen, yet when alarm is, yet when the alarm is past, with sharp tongues will they assail you, covetous of the best of the spoils, no faith have these god will make your doings no of no avail and easy is this with god they thought that the confederates allies is also a way to translate to offset would never retire and were the confederates to come out again and were the confederates to come out again they would fain be dwelling among the arabs of the desert and that's news about you for though they were with you they fought not except a little a noble pattern had ye in god's apostle for all who hope in god and in the latter day and oft remember god and when the faithful saw the confederates they said this is what god and his apostle promised to us and god and his apostle spoke truly and it only increased their faith and self-devotion and uh bedouins let me see the uh, the badoon Baduna il uh, Arab. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, was it Wolf? No. Badun. Okay. So Bedouin is mentioned here.
And when the unknowable pattern had he in God's apostle, for all who hope in God and in the latter day, and oft remember God, and when the faithful saw the Confederates, they said, This is what God and this apostle promised us, and God and this apostle spoke truly, and it only increased their faith and self-devotion. Self-devotion, that kind of sounds like it might imply like self-righteousness or something, but no. Their own devotion, yeah. Some were there among the faithful who made good what they had promised to God. Some have fulfilled their courses, and others wait, and others wait. And had it not been changelings who change, not the changeling where people believe that, oh yes, the djinn come and they take your children, or nowadays it's the aliens that come and take your children. Although, people can change spiritually, but it's not like they take a uh, replace you with a body double or something. That got... I'm a changeling! See me change! I don't know what I'm thinking anyways. That God may reward the faithful for their faithfulness, and may, and may punish the hypocrites, if he so please, are be turned unto them. For God is forgiving, merciful, and God drove back the infidels in their wrath, and they won no advantage. God suffice the faithful in the fight, for God is strong, mighty, and he caused those of the people of the book who had aided to come down out of their fortresses and cast dismay into their hearts. Some he slew, others he took prisoner, and he gave you their land and their dwellings and their wealth for a heritage, even a land on which he had never set foot. For the might of God is equal to all things. O prophet, say to thy wives, if ye desire this present life and its braveries, come then. I will provide for you, and dismiss you with honorable dismissal. But if you desire God and his apostle, and a home in this next life, then truly hath God prepared for those of you who are virtuous a great reward. O oh, wives of the prophet, should any of you be guilty of a proven lewdness, and doubly shall her chastisement be doubled, and with God this is easy. So remember, uh, because they're as mothers to the community, there's a certain level of uh, example. So stand not with those who, uh, well, don't support those who slander the wives of the prophet. But whoever you shall obey God and his apostle, and shall do that which is right, twice over will we give her her reward, and we have prepared for her a noble provision. O oh, wives of the prophet, ye are not as other women. If ye fear God, be not too complacent of speech, lest the man of unhealthy heart should lust after you, but speak with discreet speech, and abide still in your homes, and go not in public deck, as in the days of your former ignorance, but observe prayer, and pay, if the, and pay the impost, and obey God. And the apostle for God only desireth to put away filthiness from you as his household, and with cleansing to cleanse you, and to recollect 
what is rehearsed to you in your houses of the book of God and of wisdom, for God is keen-sighted and cognizant. So we saw this, uh, yeah, in the last chapter, in the take what Allah's messenger has revealed, uh, has given you, and leave what he has forbidden you. The wisdom, the wisdom of the one whom the book was sent to. And I don't mean, yeah, we need to eat his favorite foods and we need to dress in his favorite clothes. No, we follow the principles in which he taught, which were truly the men who resign themselves to God. Al Muslimin, Muslimin, I don't remember exactly the verbiage in this verse. And the women who resign themselves, and the believing men, and the believing women, and the devout men, and the devout women, and the men of truth, and the women of truth, and the patient men, and the patient women, and the humble men, and the humble women. And the humble women, and the men who give alms, and the women who give alms, and the men who fast, and the women who fast, and the chaste men, and the chaste women, and the men, and the women who oft remember God. For them hath God prepared forgiveness, and a rich recompense, and it is not for a believer man or woman to have any choice in their affairs when god and his apostle have decreed a matter and whoever disobeyeth god and his apostle heareth with palpable error and when thou saidest to him unto whom god had shewn favor and to whom thou also hast shewn favor keep thy wife to thyself and fear god and thou didst hide in thine mind what god would bring to light and thou didst fear man much more right had it been to fear god and when zaid had settled concerning her to divorce her we married her to thee that it might not be a crime in the faithful to marry the wives of their adopted sons when they have settled the affair concerning them, and the behest of God is to be performed, no blame attacheth to the prophet where God has given him a permission. Such was the way of God with those prophets who flourished before thee. For God's behest is a fixed decree, who fulfilled the mission with which God had charged them and feared him, and feared none but God, and God taketh a sufficient account. Muhammad is not the father of any man among you, but he is the apostle of God, and the seal of the prophets, and God knoweth all things. Drop in the B. Um, so the exemplar prophets. After, you know, the last of the messenger prophets, is implied and what reason do we have but in english we have a third type of acceptable prophet and two other types of actual prophets that uh, should be rejected the sectarian prophet and the prophet of satan should be rejected but the person who has mystical experience that confirms the faith that you know that he has a soul and you know whatever raises one to that level, that they have the experiences that confirm the truth of, but yeah, Muhammad's male children never reach puberty, so yeah, there were never any males that Muhammad was the father of, and this is the second ayat, you know, verse of Quran, uh, 3340. That mentions Muhammad by name. O oh, believers, remember God with frequent remembrance and praise him morning and evening. He blesseth you and his angels that he may bring you forth out of darkness into light. 
and merciful is he to the believers. Bear and greeting on that day when they shall meet him shall be peace, and he hath got ready for them a noble recompense. And saying such benedictions on the prophet. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sallam kama sallam wa ala Ibrahima wa ala Ibrahima kama sahim bin Najim. You know, Muhammad and his uh, posterity, um, as he blessed Ibrahim and his posterity, uh, is a recommended thing to do in the prayer. Bless you, he blesseth you and his angels, that he may bring you forth out of darkness into light. And the merciful is he, as the believers, and their greeting on the day when they shall meet him shall be peace. Assalamu alaikum. And, uh, well, assalam. Uh, and he hath got ready for them a noble recompense. O prophet, we have sent to thee. We have sent thee to be a witness and a herald of glad tidings and a warner and one who through his own permission summoneth to God and a light giving torch announce therefore to believers that great boons do await them from God and obey not the infidels and the hypocrites so those who cover the truth and the people who you know go in the different ways because if they can't decide what side they're on why are you trusting them for advice because you don't know whether they're for or against the cause that you're going to be at at the moment yet abstain from injuring them and put thy put thou thy trust in god for god is a sufficient guardian O oh, believers, when you marry believing women, and then divorce them before you have consummated the marriage, ye have no term prescribed, no term prescribed you, which ye must fulfill towards them, provide for them, and dismiss them with a reputable dismissal. So this obviously prevents the uh, problem that arises with this whole... Uh, You know, it's, it's bad for a woman's reputation to, for her to be engaged and that to be broken law. It's, it's bad for the male's reputation too, but, uh, O believers, we allow thee thy wives, with whom thou hast dowered, and the slaves whom thy right hand possesseth, possesseth out of the booty which God hath granted thee, and the daughters of thy uncles, and of thy paternal and maternal aunts, who have fled with thee. And any believing woman who hath given herself up to the prophet, if the prophet desired to wed her, a privilege for thee above the rest of the faithful. So, uh, out of the war spoils, you, you can free a slave as a condition to uh, marry her. That can be the dowry. We well know what he hath settled for them in regard to their wives and to the slaves whom their right hands hold that there may be no fault on thy part, and God is indulgent, merciful. And we also find out you cannot force slaves into marriage. Thou mayest decline for the present whom thou wilt of them, and thou mayest take to thy her whom thou wilt, and whomsoever thou shalt long for of those thou shalt have before neglected and this shall not be a crime in thee thus will it be easier to give them the desire of their eyes and not put them to grief and to satisfy them with what 
Thou shalt accord to each of them, God knoweth what is in their hearts, and God is knowing gracious. So obviously, as a male, your marrying is to fulfill their desires too. So again, another safeguard, or another way that proves that forced marriage is not acceptable. God knoweth what is in their hearts. God is knowing gracious. It is not permitted to take it is not permitted thee to take wives hereafter, nor to change thy present wives for other women. Though their beauty charm thee, except slaves in thy right hand shall possess, and God watcheth all things. And we also found a very interesting thing in there about uh, the... Uh, 